Welcome to the shooting show. This week, Stuart Wilson and I take two high-flying red devils from the 3rd Battalion the Parachute Regiment on their debut Roebuck stalks. Plus we bring you all the latest news from the shooting world. Stuart and I make our respective ways into position for a morning stalk with our high-flying guests Steve and Frenchie from the Parachute Regiment's Red Devils display team. Dawn is just breaking as Stuart and Steve get sat in the high seat quietly loading the rifle in readiness for a buck. Cheers, brother. Okay, just a guy snaking through. I did not expect him to hear it. I heard him before. That one. Quite a lot, yeah. Nice one. Nice solid chest shot as well. Second. Nice solid chest shot. Yeah. yeah. It. When they sort of spot you, they're coming in really close like that. They're. It's adrenaline's up, you could see by the way he was stepping, there was nothing we could do really. Just give it a He's literally there, I mean, we could have jumped on him nearly. Um, give it a second or two. And it's just that bit of adrenaline that's in the system that when you've then taken the shot, that he's, he's reacting, he's, his flight response has kind of yeah. kicked in. If he hadn't been aware of us at all, yeah. he'd have just dropped on the spot there, because that was a clean shot. Thank you. 
find your book. As Stuart and Steve follow up their book, we join myself and Frenchie as we too stalk onto a book and wait in anticipation for a shot to present itself. Wait for him to turn. Okay. Okay. When you're ready. Reload. Okay, make safe. Good shot, mate. Well done, mate. That is one interesting rowbook. Ours is in the bag, but I'm hopeful that Steve's shot has also found success. Right in front of us. Stalking in close proximity, we all gather to admire Steve's rifle work. It's a cracker, and he's been fraying. Mm -hmm. So, well done, Mr. Wilson. You managed to get Steve his first roebuck, so yeah, yeah, you know, that, that just shows us hope for everybody. <laughs> My guiding ability, or for Steve's stalking, to be fair, I don't know which you're sort of driving at. Well, I'll leave that to you two. <laughs> <laughs> so, good rowboat, uh, for your first rowboat, that's exceptional, Steve. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Yeah, so what did you think to your first experience? Yeah, it was good. Got the uh, the juices flowing. Good. As it were. Well, uh, it was we... a nice, nice end to a fairly sort of short stint in the high seat. It was a bit cold, you were shivering a little bit. Little book came along. He was sort of left-handed on us. He was sort of coming probably from an area where I maybe wouldn't have expected him based on on what we had in front of us. And he sort of put the put the jump on us a little bit. And you know to get the camera on to him and for you know Steve as a as a, a novice stalker to get onto him and without disturbing him, it was it was impressive and it was good. So you know I mean I was really pleased. So we were uh, quite fortunate, really. So we, we, we pulled in down uh, back of the wood and uh, a buck and a doe just skipped on out of the hedge side and, and across. Uh, so we just let him go back of the hedge, round the corner, uh, give him 10, 10 minutes or so, and off they went. Quite a short stalk, really, 30, 40 yards down the side of the, the, the woodland there. And uh, the buck popped out. They just skipped along in front of the, in the wood in front of us. Deployed the, the tripod and Frenchie was up on there and that was it. Ten seconds later, boom, straight down the shoulder. Yeah, top shot. So what did you think, Frenchie? Yeah, great. First time out. It's, didn't take that long either. I thought we'd be out here for a few hours, so it was, uh, it was nice. Yeah, we put on the wood line and... You're with the air team now, mate. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, yeah, great morning. Cool. Yeah, cheers, Pete. It's, uh, Good little morning out. I think yeah. it's our turn next. Uh, take you down and throw you out an aeroplane for the afternoon. Now looking forward to it. Yeah, happy with that, mate. <laughs> Does he have to have a parachute? <laughs> well, we can we can take one. I'll have a parachute, but we don't have to give him one. Give him in. Beautiful. Together. 
Frenchie and Steve there doing the double. And now it's the Shooting Show News. This is the Shooting Show News. Grouse shooting uncertainty continues to rise in Scotland. Scottish Environment Secretary Rosanna Cunningham has told MSP she will establish an independent inquiry into grouse moors, looking at the possibility of a licensing system as well as restricting muirburn and the control of mountain hares. Country sports groups express their dismay that such a decision could be taken at a time when the level of wildlife crime, according to government statistics, is at a historically low level. There's a new crackdown on past convictions that could see shotgun and firearms licence applicants risking prosecution, Bask has warned. It's told all applicants they need to declare all previous convictions, no matter how long ago or how irrelevant. All motoring convictions must also be declared and no convictions are considered spent for this purpose. Police in Wales have launched a number of prosecutions on this point already, so make sure you don't fall foul of the law. Basque and the Game Fair have joined forces. The UK's biggest shooting organisation will be the fair's official partner, ensuring the event has a strong shooting and field sports emphasis. Don't forget, all Basque members can go to the Game Fair absolutely free. Get yourself down to Hatfield House on the 28th to the 30th of July. Book your tickets now at thegamefair.org. And finally... 60,000 pupils will learn how to cook game after the Taste of Game campaign teamed up with secondary school teachers. As part of the new GCSE in food preparation and nutrition, teachers will learn how to cook and prepare two pheasant recipes before introducing this into their lessons. Taste of Game's Annette Walcock said this is an exciting project which will put healthy, nutritious game meat directly in front of the next generation. That was the Shooting Show News. Well, that's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Please like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you're not a member of Basque, it's time to join now. Basque, looking after your sport, looking after you. This has been The Shooting Show.